G'day, it's Harvey here. So this is the third time I tried to shoot this video. My crappy old phone keeps uh, bailing on me, so let's see how we go. But today I have just dry hopped a Williams Warm Brew Keg and going in through the collection bottle. Now there's been a bunch of people asking about how to do this, and I thought it might be cool to put a video together. So I gave it my best shot, it worked really great, except I lost the footage. So I've got the third piece, which I'll show you in a second. But hopefully this little one I'm recording now replaces the bit that was lost and just gives you a bit of background on what I'm trying to do. So here's a Williams Warned BK25, I've just dry hopped it through the bottom. It's been fermenting away, it's got a XPA ale in there. It's running at about 5 psi, I like to ferment it reasonably low pressure for a couple of reasons. And I've just dry hopped it with 115 grams of hops in pellet form. So to do that, I remove the collection bottle, and that's not too much of a drama at 5 psi, it doesn't make a big mess, and this is one of the main reasons why I like low pressure fermentation. I uh, keep the yeast, which I would like to do, you don't have to, I go and give the bottle a clean, sanitise it, and then into the bottle I stick in a few tablespoons of sugar, and some boiling water to dissolve that sugar. Now the new BK25 collection bottles can handle boiling water, I don't know about the old ones, I don't think they do, so just watch that one. The sugar dissolves, and the sugar is there for two reasons. Firstly, it activates the yeast, and it uh, eats up any oxygen that I introduce through this dry hopping process. So that's that's a really, really good thing. But secondly, because I'm only at 5 PSI at the moment, the uh, extra bit of sugar that I bring in there will bring it up to sort of around about the 12 PSI mark. I'm not too fussed about the exact amount, because I can finish it off using the tank if I need to. So I, I just want it yeah, close to where I want to be in terms of carbonation. So that's what that's all about. Um, so yeah, boiling water, sugar, and then in this case there was 115 grams of hops, mix of Simcoe and Waiiti. Uh, that's it's a modest hop load for an IPA, you can go a lot bigger than that, but I think if I was using this method I'd um, split that in two if I was going any bigger than this. Um, so yeah, the uh, basically hot water, sugar, hops go into the collection bottle, fill it up to the top, and you do that so there's no oxygen in the collection bottle, and then reattach it, and then do this with your brew keg. Alright, so it's been like five minutes since we uh, heated up the hops. Just going to remove that. Now we need to get to the main chamber. I'm not going to lie, I haven't actually done this before with this sized hop load, so this could be interesting. I'm actually pretty comfortable with it, picking it up, just giving it a good shake. I'm happy there's not much in the way of CO2 in there. I don't know how much of that oxygen in there. So, you can see Bit of stuff dropping down, but not much. I've got to get some liquid in. And then back out again. Because I've got the sugar in there, if I do get any oxygen in, that sugar's going to help the yeast heat that up. This is why we do CrossFit, folks. And there we go, one empty collection bottle. And I'll be pretty comfortable my hops are well mixed at this point. Now that's going to go back in the fridge for a couple of days and then I'm going to crash call. And on with my life. Thanks for watching.